Last week we told you how sugar farmers here in Louisiana rely on research to keep them competitive in the global market. Sugarcane production and its related support industries account for nearly $2 billion a year in revenues to the state's economy. Much of that research is generated by the USDA's Sugarcane Research Facility in Houma, Louisiana. In part two of her series on sugarcane's importance to the Louisiana economy, this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks takes us to Houma, where researchers there are looking to the past for a glimpse into the future. There once was a time when this cane knife was the most important part of the Louisiana sugar industry. 200 years ago, it was how the crop was harvested. It was the device that helped turn cane stalks into granulated sugar, creating an industry that Louisiana has relied upon since 1751. Today, the cane knife is still an integral part of the state's sugar industry, even here at one of the most advanced sugar research facilities in the world. It's here in Houma that sugar scientists leave their laboratories in favor of the fields. These varieties are being planted as part of the station's ongoing research into which cane types are best suited for Louisiana's unique climate and soil conditions. It takes about 12 to 13 years for of research to develop a new variety for this industry. But when that variety is released to that industry, we can tell them about how much it's going to yield, where to plant it, uh, what diseases are going to affect it, what, what about the uh, insect problems that they may have, how much fertilizer you need to put, just about everything that they need to know to be successful in growing this particular variety on their farm. There are more than a thousand varieties of sugarcane here at the Homa Station, including variants that were bred to create the original breeding stock from which all other sugarcane varieties would originate. Dr. Anna Hale says these original parent varieties, which come from India and Thailand, have traits that are uniquely suited to Louisiana. This species here is one of the original species that intercrossed with the one you see behind us, and that one of uh, Together they make sugarcane. Sugarcane is actually a cross between two different species. This variety, I thought, had a lot of potential because it's very high in sugar. Growers like Danny Nockan, who farms 4,000 acres of sugarcane in Lafouche Parish, say now is the time to increase the funding for sugar research. He says without it, sugar producers might find themselves without the cutting edge technology they need to stay competitive. You have to keep developing new varieties to keep the, the cycle going. And whenever you come across a good one, you got to ride that horse. You don't want to ride it too hard because if you put too many eggs in one basket, you're going to get burnt. Cheneyville sugar farmer Jim Harper agrees. And the only way we can increase our yield is to have a real good variety program. Harper, who grows 3,400 acres of sugarcane in South Rapids Parish, says he understands fully the need for research. For the last 22 years, he's grown sugarcane here at his farm, a farm whose latitude makes it the farthest point north that can grow sugarcane anywhere in the world. A lot of the problems we have are specific to Louisiana, and we, we depend on the LSU Ag Center and the Homer Research Station to develop these varieties and also do other research, you know, such as cold tolerance and uh, weed control, and uh, it's, it's really the key to our survival. In Houma, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. As far as this year's sugar harvest goes, the weather has been ideal. While the tonnage of sugarcane going to the state's 11 sugar mills has been lower than last year, sugar growers we spoke with tell us that the sugar content so far has been very good.